welcome to technofresh uh today this is the second part of the configuration page and we have already deal with the uh, account settings basic settings crons and text format editor so today we will be dealing with the development and if the time permits we can uh, go ahead with the user interface also okay so let's start uh, so we will uh, today the, we will go to this configuration page and here the development performance we will go to the performance so in this performance you can clear your cache by clearing clicking on the clear out cache uh, this will clear the backend cache of your drupal cms okay now you have one more option called caching so browser have the caching mechanism so you can set the proxy cast maximum age one minute to one day okay and hope uh, the, from here you can also uh, control the aggregated css and aggregated javascript hope you know that aggregated css and, and javascript where you have a modified for version of the css and j aggregated so you can uncontrol uncheck and check this configuration okay so this is the development part of the performance okay now we will go to the logging and error so by the name it is clear like what it does so it will basically log whatever the error uh, will come or something called warning will come or any information which you need to be backtraced okay so you have all the confirmation uh, like you want to set it or error what you want to do uh, record it in the database error or warning or you want to do all messages or all messages with the backtrace or how long you want to trace it okay so this depends on the uh, cron running process okay so you can set like i have set like, the error logging warning process okay so this is the same now coming back again to the configuration page and this is the maintenance mode so maintenance mode by the name only it, it is clear like maintenance whenever the your site is live and you want to maintain something in the back end and you're changing the configuration and the thing and you don't want to know your world anonymous user like the site is being means like it is broken right so you want to give them a message like your your application is in maintenance mode so you can control over from here okay so you can put up your site with the clicking here and you can give the proper appropriate message to your site and go to the maintenance mode. let's say i have done it and save i'll open this site in a incognito mode i'll show you how it looks okay one second yeah I'm opening my site in the see so basic Drupal configuration site changes it's in under maintenance mode so I'll go back and put it in online mode so when you go back and refresh this page yeah you can see it's a fraction of just a second you can do it online and uh, offline of your application from maintenance mode to go online yeah so now we will go to the configuration synchronization so this is a very important uh, feature of the Drupal 8 configuration. Hope uh, this this I will be covering throughout the session. Whenever I'll be uh, dealing with some configuration, I will from here I will show you the changes of the synchronization. So right now, let's say like I have already done a changes on the system logging, right? So what is the system logging? I have done the changes. When you do a differences like it was a none to error level i'm doing a hide from hide to sum okay what system site i have done changes so you if you go i have changed like uh, site name changed okay so these things you can do it and when you go to the import section of this site and it will say like if you want to uh, import uh, from one given uh, yml file you can directly go and import it or you can either import by one single item i'll explain everything like what are the yml's or if you want to export your configuration you can export whole configuration of your site i'll just export and show you i will directly show you the export configuration okay so yeah 
see uh, this is the export configuration of my site okay so all the configuration is already exported okay now you can also export in single item like let's say like i have a single uh, configuration and you want to see let's say uh, node settings so see all the yml files are coming it's in, it is coming from the node settings dot yml or let's say like uh, you know about the site dot uh, uh, site dot site name right so i'll just go to that information uh yeah system site yeah you can see this is your yml formation has missed like it has been exported okay so this is how you can import your single site so this will be having a key feature in your drupal site where uh, you can um, it's like have a functionality where have a functionality where you want to uh, export one configuration from to other or uh, other website or you want to see what are the things are there so you can see the system the theme in the last blog i have said like uh, uh, i have set the theme remember like business theme so this configuration let's say like admin theme is admin theme and default theme is business bootstrap and yeah these are the configuration it's already default is written and we can control what are the modules is being installed so module level like whenever you install any module the code.extension.yml get affected like which are the module is being installed in your loop in your current site so you can see this like big pipe is installed or let's say like uh, we have installed the uh, web form remember in the first blog we have installed the web form and web form ui see zero it is being installed and you can see this uh, bartik and uh, claro is installed yeah admin theme we have done it installed so all the configuration you can check it from here so this was the, the whole configuration of the pages where you can control the configuration development part of the web. hope this is very interesting for your information and you can control the development and for next blog i will be touching all other part search and meta tab it might be a big session uh, it might be a five to ten uh, minute uh, blog i'll be uh, dealing with the just basic functionality of the all the configuration pages where all the things is present how you can control and i'll be giving you the overview of your all the functionality of those menus all those uh, uh, pages so next blog i'll be covering the rest of the configuration thing thank you and do like to subscribe this channel and please please uh, share to your friends who is new to drupal 8 and that will be very helpful because i'll be dealing with other platform also like i will be other technologies uh, which is being introduced to our drupal 8 uh, how to configure the platform and all so advanced version means like advanced technology also i will be dealing in this uh, technofresh channel thank you and do subscribe please